Hey YouTube, what's going on? John here. In today's video, I want to give you my roundup of all the iPad 3 rumors, and at the end, I have a rumor about the next iPhone. So there's been lots of rumors lately about the iPad 3 in the past few months, and it's talked about it's going to have a quad-core processor. Um, Apple's not one to uh, max out their products with the best processor out there, but they're probably developing an A6 chip uh, quad-core processor for the next iPad. I believe there's probably a 70% chance that uh, the next iPad sees this A6 chip because usually the uh, the iPad gets the best chip and then the next iPhone will get that chip as well. So uh, Also, 4G LTE connectivity um, is rumored to be in the next iPad and I think uh, it probably will have it. Uh, more likely uh, Verizon's LTE than any other carrier, but probably Verizon and uh, AT&T will have a 4G LTE iPad 3. And in the uh, latest iBooks 2 app, there was code found to uh, point to a Retina display in the next iPad. So I believe we will definitely see a Retina display in the next iPad, which will, I believe, double the resolution of the current iPad 2 and give it 30, 330 uh, pix pixels per inch. And then some less likely uh, rumors that are going around is... Is the iPad 3 going to have a Thunderbolt connectivity? I believe not, that this will not happen. Uh, with Apple launching iCloud and being able to wirelessly sync, that's the way they want you to get your content onto your device. So they're not going to use the Thunderbolt port to do that. Um, and also, uh, more storage. This one I see could happen. I think there's a really good shot we see a bigger storage iPad. Right now we have top of the line is 64 gigs and they actually with the last iPhone up that one to 64 gigs so we could see 128 gig uh, iPad 3 on there and uh, production right now is believed to have already started on the iPad 3 with them ramping that up in February for a March launch so I think as far as uh, keynote on this iPad 3. We'll probably see that sometime in February, hopefully early February, maybe even mid-February, and then uh, early to uh, mid-March launch with the same price point as we have now on the current iPad 2, and then that iPad 2 maybe even uh, going $100 less and sticking with, say, the 16 gig as the only one available. So um, also, an iPhone 5 rumor that I just read today actually is that they are testing uh, some different designs out there and it has a larger, all of them have a larger 4 inch screen and they all have the same basic design as the iPhone 4S I believe it said. It doesn't have that teardrop shape that was rumored last year and it does have 4G LTE in it. So that's just a little rumor on the next iPhone. It's We're a long ways away from that, so uh, don't take that really too seriously. So, But let me know what you want in the next iPad 3 or even the next iPhone down below in the comments section. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as that always helps me out. And you can hit the subscribe button up at the top to be notified of all my new videos. And we'll catch you guys next time.